waking up in the fear of other legalities. Only a couple of years old. I wanted to shout and say, go away, this is our country. But I was unable to pronounce the word. Instead, learning weapon names like AA-52, BF-32, L-781, mortars, memorizing what they sounded like, then making bets with our friends on which one just went off. In our houses, hiding is all we did. Being silent is all we knew. Each other is all we had. Every time lights go off, praying begins, shooting gets closer, screaming gets louder. And that was us. Peace is all we wanted, but it was the only thing we couldn't have. We wanted to sleep for one day without having to wake up in fear. Wanted to stop alternating the watch at night and sleep all together, even though we knew that couldn't happen. Walking through the garden of my memories, I know moving wasn't the best choice. But we didn't have a choice. We tried to forget the harsh memories. But can we forget the terrible memories of war? Can we forget the hunger we lived in? The torture we lived through? The sound of yelling that popped our eardrums? The lies we told, Mom, I spilled water on myself by mistake, when in reality it was us too afraid to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? The fear of strangers jumping in our tent, pretending to be peaceful, just so they can steal our stuff? Or can I forget the scars from flying bomb fragments that mar marked my body inch by inch? And even if we did forget, looking down at our scars will make us remember. Every time a lockdown drill goes off at school, we'll remember. Sometimes I wonder if my heart is going to stop but it's still bleeding dark red blood, as red as a rose. Walking through the garden of my memories, realizing that thistles were spreading, I picked a rose. It was dark red and smelled astonishing. It poked my finger and caused it to bleed. Its beautiful red petals with spikes poking everyone that touched it. It was half dead, but still stood high, with its green leaves pointing up. It reminded me that I am a survivor. I'm still living, hoping one day the world fills up with peace as much as it is filled up with dark red beautiful roses to remind us that we can find good things in something terrible. Thank you.